welcome to Bay Focus. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. Well, you are in for a real treat today. Periodically on the program, we like to do a music-themed show. And I was recommended a young man that is, is going to be our special guest today, Alan Curtis Tripp. You'll find more out about him in just a few moments because not only is he a consummate pianist, arranger, composer, but he does a lot of other things. And you want to stay tuned and find out more about his story. But he's going to start off the show, and you want to stay tuned because there's more of this music coming. He's starting us off today with an incredible song that I love called Total Praise.
Well, what tremendous music we are having today from Alan Curtis Tripp. Uh, I have to say that we, we um, were, were linked up. I, I heard about him to give a, a thank you to our station manager in West Palm at CTN 10, Paul Lodato, who called me and said, boy, you really need, at CTN, you need to have Alan Curtis Tripp. And we are so happy to have you today, Alan. Thank you so much for coming and being here. And I, I'll talk about your, your CD in a moment, but I'm going to introduce you officially here. Okay. This is, you're hearing music today, but Alan is not only an international pianist, entertainer, composer, actor, comedian, model, writer, athlete, <clears throat> dancer, motivational speaker. Really? Alan, really? I like to look many to things. the fullest. Thing. I don't want to get to the end and be like, I didn't do something. You know? <laughs> I'm going, is this all true? Is uh, this all? I'm, I'm gonna, 99% is. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, could we throw in politicians? No, yeah. Possibly. I, anything I, I else? I will never put that one. Well, well add, uh, you'll never put that I have one my in, opinions, huh? opinions, but I, I don't think I'll go there. You, nobody wants to know them, right? Yeah, that's right. But, but I, I will have to cue our audience a little bit, just a little bit. I've gotten to know Alan here in the studio today. He He's definitely a comedian. So I'm going to tell you, if you're looking for a comedian, so I know that's true. That's true on this, but seriously, you have done all of these things, um, but your your music is astounding. I have to tell you when when I'm all the music that I've heard you do and brought you here to do. What you do concerts and, and you're and I'll also give a credit here. You have you, tremendous training from Moody Bible Institute, mm -hmm. yeah. too well known uh, nationally. Um, but tell us a little bit about what you do and with, with your music and, and with yeah. your career, where you go, what you do. I travel, been to uh, 20 countries and 47 states, and it's just been a joy to travel and arrange music and from all styles, from classical to popular to gospel and jazz. And uh, I, I share, usually the first half of the program is fun and entertaining and yeah. standing on my head, no, what, whatever it takes, you know. <laughs> which, then, which I want to point out uh, is literally, he uh, does do these uh, things. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, childhood was definitely fun for my parents, right? Yeah, I can imagine, yeah. But, uh, yeah, and then the second half is more serious focused and yeah. with an inspirational message. But I'll go to any event and play uh, at yeah. all kinds of events from, from theaters to halls to churches and just had a wonderful uh, Easter service where I played for a service down in, in um, two hours south of here. So it was, yeah. it was great. Well, all right. When we talk about the, let's talk about the music, you say you will do all different genres. Um, how, how did you get started and what were some of the influences yeah. with your music? Um, my, well, my grandmother was my first teacher and then I took from a concert pianist and then I took from uh, college professors and that was my journey. But uh, believe it or not, when I was 17 years old, I, I went to a Dino Kartsanakis uh, concert and he said, come up on stage. And he was speaking to my grandmother and she was there. Uh, who had taught me and she says I don't want to go up there alone Alan so she brought me up there and he didn't know me at all and he said why don't you play something while I take your grandmother back to her seat and we had just played with him on stage for a few minutes just having fun almost forgetting that there's a, a large audience out there and he so he put me on the spot and I played one of his arrangements and of my tribute to God be the glory and and wow. it was just a moving moment where everybody stood up and I felt like God at that moment said Alan this is what I want you to do with your music for the rest of your life and, and honor me with it. Because uh, at that point I didn't know if I would uh, specify in classical or, or jazz and, and, and God kind of spoke to me and said, why don't you do it all in my name? And I've been doing it ever since. And so it was What an amazing moment, moment. Yeah, Dino. Was. Yeah, that was fun. He's, he's a lot oh of fun on goodness. the piano. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're like, hey, move over. I got you coming here, yeah. He's out there, hi Dino. We're, hi Dino, know, yeah, I know. <laughs> wow, I, I love that. So that's a great story. And, and um, when you, you talk about um, I'm going to take you here now because you mentioned your grandmother. Because mm -hmm. um, this, this is really an incredible story. Because God sometimes um, just totally keeps, not sometimes, all the time, keeps his hand on us through different times in our life. Yeah. But you had some very harrowing experiences as a child mm -hmm. that could have thwarted sure. all of this oh, yeah. at some point. Tell wow. us a little bit about your testimony. My, uh, well, my sister says that when I get to heaven, all my all my guardian angels are going to have all their nails chewed off, you know. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know, you know. But uh, I'm kind of, my life is a testimony of it's not your time until it's your time. Yeah. But um, uh, I had spinal meningitis twice, actually, and 105 degree fever, and uh, that caused a reaction in me that uh, they 
I had Tourette syndrome as well, and maybe it was due to that fever. We don't know. Maybe it was due to spinal, spinal meningitis that could have changed my brain in that way. But uh, the good news is I survived it, and uh, I almost didn't. And I mean, ICU for a week. Uh, I had a lot of prayers going on for me at that time. And uh, after that, everything's a success just to be able to walk. You know, I, yeah. I had a specific kind of spinal meningitis where you can lose your arms and legs. And so I really. <laughs> enjoy life. I really love life because I realize that it's a huge gift and I, I almost didn't have it in the first place. So I'm thankful to God for, for every breath. That, yeah. that, yeah, that's, a, that's an incredible story of God's faithfulness and how he, he launched you yeah. into ministry like this. All right, some of the other things. You just got to give us a, a few yeah. of the ministry, some of the yeah. entertainment things that you've done. Yeah. Just give us a, just a few sampling because you have you've, you've oh, such a variety of things you've done. And oh, you're speaking on the other things. Yeah, I yeah. I worked with uh, 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 a group last year, um, and uh, there met a lot of people from uh, the the people that train the actors from uh, um, Courageous. I almost said Outrageous. Yeah, Outrageous. <laughs> that too. I don't know if that's a Somebody movie. Somebody should but, do a movie. Yeah, right. Outrageous. Right. <laughs> Maybe I should. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'd like to be fun, in that one. Yeah, <laughs> okay. that, that was, so that was fun to from do. From the movie a lot Courageous of, and some of yes, the actors, and, yeah. And, and uh, I worked with some so you, other So you've moved in that. some of those circles as well, yes. too. Yes, music is my main thing. That's what I'll yep. focus on. But I have rubbed shoulders with a lot of actors and, and still do a lot of different auditions for commercials around yep. the area. And, you, you know, sometimes you'll do 50 auditions and get one, and, and that's worth it, and that's what it's about. Yep. It's it, The process is fun, but... Uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to uh, doing a lot of composition this year, more so, and, and yeah. focusing on on that. But uh, yeah, yeah, life is. You've had a variety, including let's well, talk life is about not at all. <laughs> you had a, in 2015. You did a bicycle charity tour. Yeah. What was that? Well, that was one of those moments that I I also shouldn't be here still <laughs> after that trip. So yeah, that. What was that? I, I'm still asking that question, <laughs> but um, I'm writing a book on it, and it should be out next year. I, I've been saying that for a, a year, but I'm yeah. serious. I, I sat myself down the other day and wrote my table of contents out, and now I'm going. But that was a life-changing journey where I yeah. went from uh, Washington State to North Carolina, for uh, worked with an organization called Kids Alive International that does a lot of great work uh, with children around the world. And uh, we helped an orphanage in, in Haiti, actually. But uh, so I was doing it for that purpose and to give back because I feel like life is a gift and I, God's called us all to give back in our yeah. own way. But uh, it definitely uh, pushed me beyond the limits that I knew. And so I felt like at the end of that trip, well, if God gave me strength to do that, he, he's given me strength to, to do anything. Do anything. And, yeah. And when my legs didn't work on the third day, I had to say, okay, mind you, take over because my body's not working anymore. So it was just as much mental as it was yeah. physical. Wow, I, what, what a tremendous experience. Um, you have a s new CD, and we're going to talk about that throughout the show, called Total Praise with Scott J. Griffin. Is yes. that like the dueling pianist yeah, we, kind of thing? We still do a, a few big concerts a year together and yeah. did a lot of duo piano in the last 10 years, so he's on that as well. But yeah. uh, a lot of neat, fun arrangements on there. And, yeah. uh, and so. All right, we're going to go. I, I want you to set this up <clears throat> a little bit for us. Um, in just a moment, we're going to show our viewers on the screen how they can contact you. Yes. Then after that, you're going to come back mm -hmm. and do a, do a medley. Mm -hmm. And tell us what, that. there's some interesting, um, people are going to recognize some tunes in there. Okay. Um, ends on a powerful song. What, it, it, what inspired that to do, put those songs well, together? Um, today inspired that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I like to play music that older people enjoy as well as younger people and, and music is eternal so so uh, but even though it's generational it's also eternal so I don't I don't believe that in heaven that there will be just one style I think there will okay. be a lot of different things and so it's a joy to just do a little bit of that here on earth well so what are the, the songs chance. in the medley tell our viewers okay well I I can play them, but now I forgot. Yeah, the yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna play them, but, no, but all, I think they're gonna right. recognize all, them. All the things you are is one yeah. of my favorite show tunes. Yeah. I grew up playing show tunes. What a neat uh, melodic structure that has with great harmonies. And then, yeah. uh, then I went into Charlie Brown. Charlie uh, Brown, yes. I can't yeah. wait to hear it. I love Vince Guaraldi's jazz, especially around Christmas time. You're yeah. Famous for Charlie Brown. I learned how to play that backwards, actually, for, on top of the piano, but I didn't do that here because I don't want to ruin your piano. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. I'm not going to do that here. <laughs> and then you close uh, out with I Can Only Imagine yes, on it. Yes, I do. Correct, and, yeah. Um, 
Okay, well, we're going to we're going to take a break. We're going to hear more of your mm. music, and people can find out more about you at AlanCurtisTrip.com. Yes, and, and they, I, there's all kinds of information totally. there. And I'm they, I'm they can do it. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you so much. And we, we now the remainder of the show, you are going to be doing music. So everybody, you want to stay tuned. We're going to be right back with more music from Alan Curtis Trip. You don't want to miss it. Wow, I loved that medley. I think you recognize some of the tunes in there. You're hearing the music today of Alan Curtis Tripp. And I want to mention, too, his new CD again called Total Praise. And you heard that song opening the program today. But we're in for another great song, so you want to stay tuned to continue to enjoy this music. This is an original song that Alan Curtis Tripp wrote, and I know you're going to love it. It's called Waves of Love. Thank you.
What a beautiful song that was, Waves of Love. Well, you've been enjoying the music today of Alan Curtis Tripp. I hope you will contact him. He'd be great to come for a concert, get his music, including his CD, Total Praise, with Allison Curtis Tripp and Scott J. Griffin. Well, some of the music you've heard today is on this. I just love when, I get, when God sends to us people like this to be on the program to share this incredible music. He's going to close out the show today with our, all of our favorites, How Great Thou Art. Mm -hmm. 